Hello mga ka-mathmates! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the post notification bell right over there. Welcome to another episode of Challenging, Exciting, Fun, and Interesting Math Lessons. This is Sir Oliver, your cool math teacher for today. Our topic is all about multiplying polynomials as innately competency in factoring polynomials. What you will learn today, find the product of the given polynomials and identify the pattern used in multiplying polynomials. So this topic is important in factoring polynomials because this will help you to check your answer if it is correct or not by multiplying the factors to get the product. Things to remember using distributive property. So we can multiply polynomials by using the distributive property. Multiply the monomial to the terms inside the parentheses. Example, a times the quantity b plus c. So we are going to multiply the monomial a to the binomial b plus c inside the parentheses. That is, a times b is ab plus a times c is ac. The product is ab plus ac. That is using distributive property. The other one is using FOIL method. FOIL means first, outer, inner, and last terms. This is applicable when we multiply binomial to a binomial. Again, we will be using the FOIL method. Example, a plus b times the quantity x plus y. So let's have the f or the first terms. We need to multiply a by x. So a times x, that is ax because those are the first terms. Outer, a times y, you have ay. Inner terms, b times x, you have bx. In the last terms, b times y, you have by. So since there is no like terms, our product is ax plus ay plus bx plus by. So that's how we multiply a polynomial by a polynomial. So let's do this. So find the product of the following. 1, 3 times the quantity 2a plus 3b. So we will be applying the distributive property. So 3 times 2a is 6a. 3 times 3b is positive 9b. The product is 6a plus 9b. How about the second example? 2a times the quantity negative 8a plus 3b plus 6. We are going to multiply monomial by trinomial. So 2a times negative 8a. So 2 times negative 8 is negative 16. a times a, we just add the exponent that is a squared. Therefore, negative 16a squared. Next, 2a times 3b. 2 times 3 is 6. a times b is ab. Therefore, plus 6ab. Last term, 2a times 6, so you have 2 times 6 is 12a. So the product is negative 16a squared plus 6ab plus 12a.
How about negative 8xy squared times the quantity 5x minus 2y? So let's start multiplying negative 8xy squared by 5x. So constant, negative 8 times 5 is negative 40, then x times x is x squared, then y squared. Therefore, negative 40x squared, y squared. Next, negative 8xy squared times negative 2y. So negative 8 times negative 2 is positive 16. Then x, y squared times y, which is at exponent, that is y cubed. Therefore, plus 16xy cubed. The product is negative 40x squared y squared plus 16xy cubed. The first three examples are using distributive property. So how about 7p minus 6 times 3p minus 4? So we will be using the FOIL method. First term, 7p times 3p. We have 21p squared. Outer terms, letter O, Seven p times negative four, you have negative twenty eight p. Inner terms, negative six times three p equals negative eighteen p. Last terms, negative six times negative four equals twenty four. So since we have like terms, which are the negative twenty eight p and negative eighteen p, which is combined. So like sign odd, then copy the sign. So that will be negative 46p. Therefore, the product is, so we just combine the three terms, 21p squared minus 46p plus 24. So that will be our answer when we multiply 7p minus 6 and 3p minus 4. Okay, how about 2x plus 3 times x minus 7? Binomial times a binomial and we will be using the FOIL method. First terms, 2x times x is 2x squared. Outer terms, 2x times negative 7 is negative 14x. Inner terms, 3 times x, you have 3x. And last terms, 3 times negative 7 is negative 21. And then we just combine like terms, which are the negative 14x and 3x, Unlike sign subtract, so you have negative 11x. The product is 2x squared minus 11x minus 21. So that concludes our lesson regarding multiplying polynomials using distributive property and using the FOIL method. So it's your time to get your pen and paper to do your activity. So have fun learning. So I can do this, multiply the following. So you have five items to answer.
So that's all for our video. I hope that you learned something. In learning mathematics, two important things that you need to remember, focus and practice. See you on my next video. Thanks for watching.